Comcast. Movie borrows the beginning of 2001, hoping to fool us into thinking this will be great. Also, narration. Life was given to us a billion years ago. Ah, I see they got the voice of her to narrate this movie. What's next? The voice of the Shawshank Redemption? How about giving voiceover duties to actors for once? What have we done with it? Luke Besson continues with his What Have Humans Done With Life conceit from The Fifth Element. Oh good, this saves me the trouble of having to fast forward it myself. Also, opening montage of humanity schooling is entirely Asian for some reason. Lucy. Roll credits. That was fast, but also inevitable with this movie, I guess. And why don't you do it yourself? And the last thing the guy's expecting is a total 10 turning up to deliver the case. Yeah man, people getting shady packages love surprises. I could have sniffed out this bullshit in two seconds. I'm going home because I have exams on Monday. Why the American Lucy has classes in Taipei is not important. Hey, look, it's Scarlett Johansson. She's pretty. You know what? The other day I was in this museum. No, you weren't. You flash him your prettiest smile and bounce. Which rodent metaphor is worse? This one or the one at the end of The Departed? I'm going with this one. Listen, it's the third time this week I'm showing up in the same hotel with the same cowboy hat. Dude, why don't you just fucking change up your disguise? Further, if I'm Lucy, I'm wondering why it matters that the guy shows up in the same outfit. Isn't he just delivering a package to a guy who was expecting said package? Okay, so you can cause a scene now if you'd like. Cops will come shortly. Meanwhile, these workers shrug off the woman yelling out in the plaza and continue to look for people to help that aren't there. This movie has twice used wildlife footage to hammer home already obvious analogies. So, is this a film school project or what? Not even six minutes in and I'm already concerned about how much of this short movie's runtime is devoted to stock nature footage. When you bought your tickets to Lucy, you didn't know you were buying tickets to the Discovery Channel. But you were soon corrected on that misconception. This penthouse comes at a discount because it has no bathroom to wash your bloody hands in. Also, not only are you not satisfactorily cleaning your hands, that is also a huge waste of delicious bottled water. Also, Evian said, you know where we'd like our product placement? and three executives spontaneously said, washing the guy's bloody hands after he kills the guy. And the rest is history. Mr. Zhang wants to know what's in the case. No, I don't know what's in the case. Do you speak English or don't you speak English? Damn, girl, did he just not ask that question back in English? I know you told him you didn't know anything, but just answer the question. I would have subtracted a million sins if this exploded right here and killed Lucy. What would the story have been? I don't know, but I would have been on the edge of my seat no matter what. Oh, good, they have a junkie on retainer. Also, you bring an already high beyond words dude to determine the potency of your purple powder drug? This is where life as we know it begins. Exposition by Symposium. Movie thinks that it can earn some gravitas points by cutting to Morgan Freeman rambling about science. But movie has overestimated the power of Morgan Freeman. But it isn't until we reached human beings at the top of the animal chain that we finally see a species use more of its cerebral capacity. And then the symposium was immediately shut down by scholars, professors, and eight-year-old children who know that 10% bullshit has long been debunked. 10% may not seem like much, but it's a lot if you look at all we've done with it. Things we've done with it montage. Oh, the Philippine prisoner viral video dancers? Sure, why not? Sistine Chapel? F*** it. We're just creating filler here, like pink slime and fast food beef. No reason to use logic. We can equate stuff like the building of the pyramids and irrigation with the solving of a Rubik's Cube, apparently. The only living being that uses its brain better than us, the dolphin. Is this the scientific myths f science symposium? Man, they got a lot of people for this. Maybe that 10% claim is right. Why was Lucy brought into the room before all the other drug mules who were all brought in together? It's 2014, but the best way these guys can think to smuggle their drugs is inside a couple of kidnapped human bodies. Seriously? That is quite possibly the most dangerous, expensive, needlessly complicated way to transport drugs I can think of. Especially since you only have like eight f***ing people. You gonna sell this? I know. Shocking that this drug of a crystal blue persuasion would be for sale. For primitive beings like us. And is he still talking? If its habitat is not sufficiently favorable or nurturing. This movie must have been co-produced by Shutterstock. The cell will choose immortality. Also, how do you choose immortality again? I choose to live forever. In other words, self-sufficiency and self-management. No, there are no other words for immortality other than athanasia. The word you're looking for is survival. On the other hand, if the habitat is favorable... It's weird, but I've somehow gone to the concession stand 15 times during this movie. I didn't realize it until a guy yelled at my stack of cups to sit down. They will choose to reproduce. Nature porn montage. Also, this animal f***ing montage is brought to you by a director I am now convinced is just f***ing with you. Hey, wait a minute. He said if the habitat is favorable, they reproduce. This is clearly Los Angeles. This birthing montage proves we'll sit through anything as long as Morgan Freeman is talking. Take the flight, get out of here. 
Okay, that's the main thing right now, just save time. How exactly do you save time when you have a scheduled flight that goes to a place in a definite amount of time? All bad guys are rapists. Also, if you work in a business where people carry around sh in their stomachs, is this ever a good idea? Well, it looks like Dr. House just figured out what the hell's going on with Lucy's body right now. Also, this movie thinks we don't know that the drugs are leaking out into her bloodstream without showing it to us. This movie is the most dead horse beatingest movie I've ever seen. Wow, this drug allows the user to defy the laws of physics. Yep, she's on the damn ceiling now. Yet somehow we're not flashing to shots of bats and dangling spiders and shit to hammer that point home. If we could access, let's say, 20% of our brain's capacity. Movie takes ridiculous debunked premise and decides to f*** it like a blow-up doll. It's up to us to push the rules and laws and go from evolution to revolution. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. It's not a joke. It's at best a rhyme. Stop laughing. Come control of matter. But now we're entering into the realm of science fiction. What? You mean just now? This guy didn't see under the skin and he falls for this. <laughs> This food would almost certainly have blood and brains on it. Instead, movie suggests you can shoot four people at a table without even a single drop of blood spilling on the table itself. Hey, Hi, speak English? No, no, no. Ah! Man, that's really racist. And did she just shoot an innocent taxi driver there? Wait for me. Why would he wait for you? Also, didn't we see you flying a minute ago? This drug that maximizes your brain capacity also somehow uploads all languages and translations of all words to your brain at once. Or is the movie saying that a maximized human brain could literally be fluent in any language at the first sight of it? I also love how no one notices or cares about her open carrying in a hospital. This drug opens up 100% of your mental capacity, but a side effect is that it makes you 100% evil. You wouldn't have been able to save him anyway. Oh, thank goodness. There goes my moral quandary. I know she's holding them at gunpoint and they're scared, but wouldn't any well-trained doctor change masks and bloody gloves before operating on a new patient? I feel everything. Space. The air. We have a bad connection. Wow, she just told her mom a lot of insane shit that lasted nearly one minute of screen time, and her mom is just now saying they have a bad connection? In the cat, it was so soft. What cat, honey? A Siamese with blue eyes and a broken tail. Sweetie, you can't possibly remember that. She just told you she did. I remember the taste of your milk in my mouth. Just because you think of something doesn't mean you have to say it out loud. I love you, mom. I love you too, sweetie. It sounds like you're on drugs, so I'll let you go for now. We'll talk later, sweetie. And how long will it take my body to eliminate the rest of it? Well, since I definitely know what this drug is and what compounds make it up, it's logical that you would ask me that question. I'm gonna go with 12. Pregnant women manufacture CBH4 in the six week of pregnancy. If you say so. It's what gives the fetus the necessary energy to form all the bones in its body. I don't know, sounds like bullshit. I guess when it's science fiction, you can just make up anything about the human body, even if it's easily debunked, and when it sounds completely idiotic. Ooh, she can see Gaia. Wait, that cabbie who watched her shoot another cabbie who she told- Wait for me. Actually waited for her? Why does this rapidly advancing human brain that knows all languages and can see a tree's life essence still need two shots to kill this dude? Learning's always a painful process. Wait, why isn't she magically speaking Korean right now? She knew what the signs were saying at the hospital, and she wants to be understood, right? Like this grinding under the skin. Roll credit. Oh, wait, that's the wrong movie. Like this pain you're experiencing, it's blocking you from understanding. I think it's the English that's blocking him from understanding. So, this is how the human brain retains information. When I need to remember where I sent all my drug mules, a sweeping camera goes around and finds images of their plane tickets, which all just so happen to be exposed perfectly so that I can read them. Funny, it was morning when Professor Horton first started talking in this movie. I have no proof of that, it's just what I feel is right. Maximizing the human brain's ability to multitask does not maximize this laptop's processor's ability to perform this many functions at once without overheating. Also, movie from a studio owned by Comcast shows internet speeds not possible with Comcast. Oh man, they completely misspelled Morgan Freeman on this page. I must have written no less than... 6,734 pages. I can recite them to you all by heart if you wish. Scarlett Johansson really is playing Samantha from her again. It's like they combined her, weird science, and limitless all into one movie. I read your theory on the use of the brain's capacity. It's a little rudimentary, but you're on the right track. If you know so much, why did you need to call him again? Is it because he's Morgan Freeman? Why didn't she just call the cell phone in the first place? Oh, sure, she can figure out exactly what hotel he's staying at and call that number, but not his cell phone. Quantum physics, applied mathematics. I would rather just watch the stock nature footage over this audio the rest of the film. Is that an option on the DVD? Your kidneys aren't functioning efficiently. Your liver's failing you. You need to make some lifestyle changes. You don't need to know how I know this. Life's a f***ing mystery. Explanations are for closers only. Okay, here's Scarlett Johansson, probably in a lot of people's top five hottest women ever. No doubt gets ogled everywhere she goes, and she turns into a brunette without even one asshole noticing. And there are tons of people behind her. Hell, this guy's looking straight at her and doesn't think this shit is weird. Huh, still haven't walked past that store yet? You've been walking constantly. We've never seen you stop, but you're still walking past this same damn store. Movie tells us how much Lucy is using her brain, but doesn't really have any idea what that means. 
What can she do now that she couldn't before? I'm about to arrive in Europe, each one is carrying a kilo of drugs. She just said that shit right at the customs counter in the airport. Does this drug-sniffing dog detect the very new and rare CPH4 in her system? In case you confused it with Berlin, British Columbia. In case you confused it with Paris, Bolivia. In case you confused it with Rome, Georgia. You know, the country, not the state. Capitano Marco Brezzi. Thanks for calling me back. Ah, yes, one of those fantastic conversations where one guy is speaking Italian and the French guy is speaking English back. What is on those screens? Matrix code? It's worth another sin that there are no consumer laptops capable of warp speed processing like this. I suppose you're going to tell me that she Tim tailored them open and added more power, right? She's probably just now realizing, damn, I could have flown myself to Paris. To knowledge. Toasting oneself. <laughs> this guy isn't screaming. That's Lucy Dust. Don't breathe that. So her logic is, I'm literally turning to dust because of this drug. Let's take more. Oh, hey, look, her face is turning into birthday sprinkles. She was turning to dust, right? Geez, I guess the human brain is literally limitless with increased capacity. She's going to f***ing beam to planet Vulcan without a transporter at the end of the movie, I bet. Narcolepsy. I'm gonna drive. Why can't you just f***ing fly by now? This one way. We're late. Why did the cops take her to this place, but all three of the other drug mules went to a regular-ass hospital? Is it because they needed to have this car scene? Also, Lucy is a dick to Paris. Also, why didn't your amazing brain Google map the best route before you started driving? Lucy obviously kills lots of people on her way to wherever she's going. Also, why doesn't she just mind control all the other drivers to stop driving? Hey guys, here's some stuff we could use to become just like Lucy. You know, the amazing abilities that our boss, Mr. Jang, surely told us about after she knifed his hands and figured out where all those drug mules were going by reading his mind. But nah, our drug operation is probably way more important. Ha ah, ha! Hilarious! Dying tickles! Give me the case. Can you not just force... I mean... Shit. I do not understand this f***ing movie. <laughs> because that seems possible after what you just witnessed. F*** you, movie. She's in a hurry, you dicks. She already wiped out twice as many opponents in a similar hallway by instantly knocking them unconscious with her brain. <laughs> after levitating three guys, Lucy decides this guy needs to have a painful crash through a wall. This movie has the balls to suggest that not only does this guy look over at the right time and happen to see Lucy, but Lucy, all f***ing knowing things about the universe Lucy is not able to tell she's been spotted. Because this movie is a real son of a bitch, actually. It's an aggressive dickhead of a film. Calling together a few of my colleagues to discuss your case. Top men's in their field and uh, very trustworthy. Um, what did he just say? <laughs> top men's in their field. Did he say top men's in their field? The subtitles say mines, but that is not what he said. No time for extra takes, I guess? Can you give us an example? Your daughter, Gabrielle, age six, died in a car accident. Okay. Now, can you do it without being a total dick? That's the next question. Because I have the antidote to witchcraft. There are men coming here. Can you secure the room? I need to stay focused. Oh, bullshit. You could knock them all out right here and now and it'd take you a nanosecond. Stop making shit up so that some kind of human obstacle will be possible for her right now, you f***s. All the cops driving up to this building missed the gun show going on right behind them. Reform. Makes no difference, it's all the same. And yet my mind still needed the human French cop to deal with the incoming hoods because I need to focus. Film a car speeding down a road. Speed up the image infinitely, and the car disappears. So what proof do we have of its existence? Time gives legitimacy to its existence. This whole time explanation thing is set up to blow my mind. But even if what she's saying is true, and I'm pretty sure it isn't, it doesn't seem like it has any practical use for me or the movie on the whole. Here are many deaths Lucy didn't prevent because she needed to focus. You won't be able to hold it for much longer. Time to go then. What? Why? It just knocked them all out, goddammit. This movie should be f***ing over. Roll credits. Lucy wins and becomes heir. I don't f***ing care what happens, except that what's actually happening is ludicrous. Whatever that was. What is she doing? She's looking for energy and matter. I don't know was the correct response. And she's trying to connect with our computers. I'm still trying to figure out why this couldn't wait. She could have easily disposed of all the bad guys and then done this. But drama, I guess. Why are millions of bullets hitting this statue? There's not one person standing near the statue. 80% is the Matrix, as you see here. Bazooka Relay Race. Can they see her? The people in New York didn't. They all walk past her like, dumb bitch in a chair. F***ing New York, man. Lucy meets Lucy. None of these doctor dudes even remotely tries to stop this attacker from shooting her. CGI liquid things! How close do you need to get, dude? Good job waiting too long to shoot her, asshole. Naked Scarlett Johansson is somewhere and I need to go to the fourth dimension to see it. Amazing balls-out accelerated supercomputer gives Dr. Morton a f***ing flash drive. And you know it's amazing because it's all sparkly and shit. This guy still has a flip phone in 2014. Ah, something about time. I forgot what it meant. Life was given to us a billion years ago. Repeated narration. Now you know what to do with it. I really don't, but cool nature movie, yo.
Yet, across the gulf of space, intellects vast and cool and unsympathetic regarded our planet with envious eyes. We did the punk thing. <laughs> the last ever. Whoa, that's a full rainbow all the way. The fourth dimension will collapse upon itself, you stupid bitch. To have an echolocation system that is more efficient than any sonar invented by mankind. You took my sonar concept and applied it to every phone in the city. With half the city feeding you sonar, you can image all of Gotham. This is wrong. 